relationship has a honeymoon phase. But when the honeymoon ends, that's when the real work begins. On today's case, Ms. Severin says she never even made it through the honeymoon phase before the red flags started to present themselves. Now she says Mr. Martin's serial cheating and his overall lack of respect for their relationship has her ready to put an end to this union for good. Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Severin versus Martin. Thank you very much. Ms. Severin, you brought this case today because you say you refuse to be disrespected any longer. You say your boyfriend is a cheater, parties too much, and is terrible with money. If you don't see a clear resolution, you want out. Yes. And Mr. Martin, you are here today, you say, to save your relationship. You say Ms. Severin has changed and she can't see your perspective on how to make this relationship better. Despite all of this, you love her and you continue to see a future together. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I see that this is a mature couple. It's not like you all are brand new to this dating game. But after five years together, there are some bumps in the road. Although currently living together, Ms. Severin, you say you've hit a crossroads. Why are we in court? Your Honor, I am so tired of this man. He has cheated on me. He's constantly going to the strip clubs. Mm. He's watching porno. And also, he's not financially stable. He's all the time, he's spending it on frivolous things that he doesn't need. And he needs to learn how to save. And I'm so tired, Your Honor. I'm just ready to give up. It doesn't sound like your emotional needs are being met in this relationship. Is that what you're saying? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I'm gonna turn on over here to Mr. Martin. You heard what Ms. Severin said. What do you say? I heard I you agree, say under your breath, that's just not true. Yeah, Your Honor, uh, I want us to build a future, but I mean, I can save. You know, the things that are in my budget, I was doing before I met her. Mm -hmm. You know, so I feel like if I had that system going, then I want you to get with my system so we can build a system together. So I want to see if this system actually works. And it may work for one. Let's see if it works for two. That's what we're here to explore. Okay. Why don't you take me back, Ms. Severin? How did you all meet? Well, we met at a store. He came up to me and he asked me for my phone number. We exchanged numbers. We went on our first date. So tell me a little bit about you because I understand you were married before, correct? Yes. 30 years? Yes. So you came out of a very long relationship. And how long after that relationship ended did you get involved with Mr. Martin? Between four and five years. So you thought you were ready to jump into another relationship? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Martin, what did you think when you first got with Miss Severin? When I met her, I thought she was, you know, nice looking. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I was hoping it was gonna continue and go further because, I mean, I like thick girls. I like older women. You know, I'm 37, so that's, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, you all actually have about 12 years in between you. Yes. With Miss Severin being the more advanced. Is that a good way to put it? Being the more advanced? Yes. Miss Severin, it sounds like you both were finding what you were looking for. Tell me how it went so wrong. He wasn't being honest. He said he was, but he was still in a relationship. Uh-oh. So that's yeah, where you really. say the cheating began. Yes. Did you know this young lady? No. I kind of knew that, you know, they were together in the past, mm -hmm. but I didn't, I didn't know that they were still together. So what makes you think they were still together? The conversations between us and he... So the lady reaches out to you. What does she say? She said, you know that we are dating still and um, we're still together in this relationship. We are, well, he's dating both of us at the same time. Oh, she was stuck on me, Yana. Oh, so you... Okay, player, player. You standing over there uh, looking like the cat who swallowed the canary. Were you trying to maintain two relationships at the same time? I wasn't. Point? We took a break. And so in that break, I decided that it was over. I said, we can see other people, and I'm basically tired. So she did know it was over. But she just, you know, she was just stuck on me. She just held on. Were you still dipping and diving? Uh, one, I, I mean, the breakup sex. You know, I, 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 I had one last relation with her. And, you know, t to me, that was the cleanest slate because she was like my round-away girl back in the day. So, you know, I just wanted to remind her, you know, it's over. You know, I'll see you later. That doesn't sound awfully romantic. I'm gonna be honest with you. That doesn't make me awfully attracted to you, Mr. Martin, that you treat somebody's feelings like that. If this lady still had feelings for you, why would you just be 
sort of dismissive if she still had feelings. I didn't like some of the things she was doing. She had credit problems and uh, she was a hoarder. So the personalities just didn't match, is what you're saying? Yeah, it was just a lot of things that I was seeing that I I couldn't rock with. So, Ms. Severin, you said that you found out this lady was still around, but that doesn't mean that there was ongoing cheating. What made you think that there was still an ongoing relationship on your boyfriend's part? Well, she told me that they were still together and that he was, like, highly sexual. So I felt like they still had sexual relations. And so uh, Mr. Martin just said they had one last breakup sex. Did he confess that to you? He did after, you know, after I confronted him about it because I told him, I said... She snitched. Clearly. (laughs) Side pieces ain't loyal. What you talking about? (laughs) Keep going. Uh Yeah, so she told me that they did. So, but you know, just her words, she was saying that he's highly sexual. Oh, so she called herself trying to school you on your man. Yes. And why would you entertain that? I didn't. After, After the conversation with her, I I just totally blocked her on social media. Which is smart. But you're saying also that's not the only thing that makes you say you can't trust him. What's up with these strip clubs? That's your big major problem, I know. When he tells me he's going out, it's like he's going to a bar. I'm calling him, and he's not answering the phone, so I'm suspicious. And he'll call me an hour later. And he'll tell me, oh, everything's fine. We're just having fun. But there are at the strip club. And you don't like that? No. And have you all discussed that? Yes. Mr. Martin, have you discussed this proclivity for strip clubs with your girlfriend? This this is Atlanta. I mean, it's the home of the strip club. So I feel like that's like a bar. That's, you know, that's like if you... If you uh, stay in Milwaukee, you know, you're going to the brewery. Um, I'm not saying that it's bad. Um, Atlanta men, none of that. That's not my problem. If you're in a relationship with someone that finds it a problem, that's going to be an impediment to the relationship. Does that make sense to you? It does. Have y'all had that kind of conversation? I mean, it's Atlanta. She's from New Orleans. It's a custom here. So I want you to get accustomed to that because that's... Well, back, back in New Orleans, if you're in a relationship, it's supposed to be just about that person. It's not supposed... You're not supposed to be out there trying to seek other females or looking at their bodies. He's not willing to change. Right. I mean, I got game in the strip club. So, I mean, as far as with the lap dances, it's going to be at a discounted rate because I'm a player. But what I'm like... What kind of low-rent strip club you going to that give discounted rates? Mm-hmm. This is why the intimacy has lacked. Miss Severin, I'm going to let you know something. And I get the feeling with Mr. Martin, I'm going to say this more than once in this next few minutes that we're together. You knew who Jimmy was when you first met Jimmy, which basically means Mr. Martin is telling you this is who he is, this is what he likes, and he's not willing to change. Mr. Martin, have I interpreted that correctly? Yeah, I this mean... This is what it's, you it's like. Some, it's something I enjoy, you know, and I just feel like it's a custom... That Mr. She, Martin, I'm going to interrupt you and ask you. If your girlfriend says, I am not somebody that can put up with that on a regular basis, whether you like it or not, is she important enough to you to say, then I won't do it? And look me in the eye and tell me the truth. She is, but, I mean, I've been doing it so long, it's something that I would have to adjust to, but I am willing to adjust to it. Okay, so what you're telling me is it's maybe a habit, but this is a habit that you could stop if... If it came down to it. I just want her to meet me halfway on it. What is the halfway? Because the the, the stripper is not halfway. It's either you going to the strip club or you're not. Right. I mean, I got game in the strip club. It's not like I'm spending a lot of money. What do you mean you have game? I got game. So, I mean, as far as with the lap dances, it's going to be at a discounted rate. Because I'm a player, you know? So I could, you know, I could pull them. I'm not a low baller. 
You know, but what I'm like... What kind of low-rent strip club you going to that give discounted rates? I don't even want to talk about it. I mean, as, as far as, like, you know, with your game, as far as when you, when you approach them and how you talking, you know, generally, you know, they throwing money, but they be trying to holler something like, it's not like I'm coming home. And let me tell you something. Stop talking. Um, because you about to put yourself in a bigger hole than you already are. Because you telling far too much information. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, because Miss Severin is not liking any of it. See, because I don't think that's going to change, and I'm going to let you know. Living and, the truth. And this is why the intimacy has lacked and I stopped because he's constantly flirting, he's constantly going to the strip clubs, and I'm tired. I'm tired. So, do you all have an active, intimate life? It's not like it used to be because I can't trust him anymore. So, do you believe that he is doing something inappropriate at the strip club? Do you actually think he's engaging in intimate acts with these women? Oh, lap dance, for one, for me, is, a, is bad. And you don't want that in your life, is what you're telling me? No. So, Mr. Martin, seriously, it looks like you and Ms. Severin are not going to meet halfway on this. I'm willing to give it up. Talk to me about this lack of intimacy, because Ms. Severin... When I, when I met her, Your Honor, she was a super freak. You know, we used to do it all the time. When I first met her, I tried to engage early, but she didn't want to. Mm -hmm. So I looked at that, I was wondering, you know, is she gonna meet my needs? And like I say, I'm a Scorpio, you know, so I got a high drive. And uh, it just seems like now, as far as with the issues, it is the window down to once, twice, you know, maybe three times a month. And I'm like, that's gonna lead me to seek other means. But at the same time, I'm still gonna respect you in our relationship. So how does one seek other means if I respect the relationship? I mean, for one, there's porn. And that's a problem. Am I correct, Ms. Severin? Yes, porn is a problem because it's the same thing as going to the strip clubs. He's looking at naked bodies. I know someone that likes younger girls, so I would find them for him. It sounds a lot like you were pimping for your boy and you got some sloppy seconds. Excuse me. Not sloppy seconds. You uh, hit it first. Yeah, I just wanted to sample before he... I need a minute. Wow. <laughs> wow. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. I'm gonna ask you seriously. If you know your man is interested in hitting it a little more often and he has already sought outside entertainment from these gentlemen's clubs and from porn sites, and it bothers you. Why haven't you put forth more effort to be that intimate outlet so that you two can match? Because that's what Mr. Martin is saying in terms I of meeting me a halfway. You said you think it's the age difference? You think it's menopause, genre? I don't know. I mean, I'm older than Ms. Severin, but... I don't need to worry about my husband going to the strip club or looking at the porn because, honey, if you can beat me rocking, you can take my chair. I don't need all of that. I'm not putting up with shenanigans. Yeah, honey, even with the porn, I'm looking at women that look like her. I'm looking up red bone. That BBW. does not make me feel any happier that you going to look for my clone in the <laughs> porn site. Miss Severin, talk to me, because I would like Mr. Martin to hear. How does that make you feel as a woman? It makes me feel like I'm not enough for him. Uh, You're not. I'm, I'm about to be blunt with you. You're not. Yeah. Because he's saying, quite frankly, he wants to be more active and he wants a partner that wants to be more active with him. That's what he's saying. Uh -huh. Okay? Now, you have to determine if that's the kind of relationship you want. Yes. It hurts. It does. But that's the kind of relationship he was hoping to have with you. Yeah. And clearly, some things have changed. Why do you she... think things have changed? Trust issues, him constantly going out there and being flirty and looking at other women. He thinks Which I don't I see helps. it, but I see it. So... It... Do you it... cheat? I mean, I don't cheat because I don't engage in a relationship with a woman. When I... You know, if I talk to her, I let her know I got a girl. <laughs> you know, so I don't really have, like, you know, the side piece in the phone or whatever. You know, like, she went through my phone one time. 
and uh, she didn't find anything. So I'm like, if, if I go out and I come home aroused, that's going to help. I didn't ask you that. I asked you about intimate acts. Do you have sexual In intercourse? Intimate acts have went on, but not, not, not recently. You know, when we first started, you know, it was kind of new. So I didn't know how far it was going to go. So I was like, you know, I got a girl I'm talking to, so I can still do my thing, double and double. But as the relationship progressed, the intimacy acts cut down. You know, a little. You just said cut down, and then he said a little. Because I listen to everything. <laughs> when was it the last time? Over four or five months ago. Over I four thought he was going to say I five, five four years. Five years. <laughs> no. Over four or five months? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, as far as like, you know, I know someone that likes younger girls. So I would find them for him. And that's kind of, you know, that's kind of how that happened, the intimacy acts. So it sounds a lot like. You were pimping for your boy and you got some sloppy seconds. Excuse me. Not sloppy seconds. I just, uh... You hit it first. Yeah, I just wanted to sample, sample before he... I need a minute. <laughs> oh. Sample before wow. he and Wow. I'm done, Your Honor. Serious. I am so done. I didn't want to look bad. I mean, you coming to me, you know, you coming to your boy, so I want to... I want to make sure you good, you know, because it could be your girl. It could be somebody you be with. And I want to say I put them together, you know? Miss Severin. I'm done. Congratulations. This your prize. This what you want? I'm, I don't want it. I'm done. Uh, it's going to get better, man. It's not gonna get better. It's gonna get better. Nope. When people tell you who they are, believe them the first time. Okay, Mr. Martin? It's the Scorpio in me. No, it's not the Scorpio in you. It's the lack of character in you. If you say that you're going to be in a relationship with somebody who expects a monogamous relationship, then people who of good character don't well, disappoint. Well, see, my last relationship was open. She, she said she knows. She don't okay, want... Okay, but that was your last relationship. Right. It's but me now. I know. Okay. And so I'm so just I, I'm just adjusting no, to a monogamous no, relationship. No. no, you're not adjusting to a no. monogamous relationship. Not if you just was hitting it with somebody else four or five months ago and you just described that you hit it with a escort as a sampling for your boy who you pimped for. I can't even believe those words just came out of my mouth. I mean, I blame... I mean, sincerely, do I you know him. how much work I have done my entire career to get to the point where I'm sitting here having a conversation with somebody who, for all practical purposes, just told me he was pimping for his boy, and so his boy was not disappointed, he hit it first. That's what I heard. Robert, did I hear that? You didn't start But it, it was off game, Yana. It was off game. Miss Severin, like I say, you're I making have... me sick right now. I, I'm disgusted with you. I'm tired. I'm tired of hearing what you say. Are you tired enough to... to say goodbye? Yes, I'm ready to say goodbye. But, what, okay, do what, you all what, live together? I have my own place. And you can pay for your own stuff? I'm gonna have to, Your Honor. You certainly are gonna have to. Because let me tell you something. You can do bad all by your doggone self. Right. I don't know what that 30-year relationship was like. I don't know if he was a good guy or a bad guy. I don't know if it was a man or a woman. I don't care. All I know is you deserve to have somebody that will not say to you, you got to get used to this kind of behavior if that's not the behavior you want. Mr. Martin? Yeah, Anna, I just feel like this is the city of Atlanta. You want to live the single life. Live now, the single life. I'm, Your Honor, you know, this is the hot spot. I mean, you just, you deal with... Then stuff. you know what? You Go and be you... with the hot women. Go you... be where you want to be. Do what you want to do. All of that, nobody is judging that. You can go to every strip club in Atlanta. You can hit it with all the escorts you want, but what you can't do is come home and get in the bed with this woman and bring whatever the heck they got out there in these streets. Because I'm gonna tell you something. She might be older than you right now, but you gonna end up being the old fool at the club by your doggone self. You need to run. Quickly. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Run. Hey, why are you running? What? You don't need to run. I am gonna run. Why are you going to run? Because I'm tired. Why are you tired? Because I deserve better. You will get better. Mm -hmm. Everything's gonna be great. 
I feel like I need a shower. That was just disgusting. Man, I mean, we've covered everything. We went from Cheaterville to Grimyland. I mean, Cheaterville to Grimyland, and this is the mayor. Unbelievable. I hope this woman runs away from him. Mm -hmm. She deserves much better than that. I, and anybody in Atlanta that lets him touch them, I need to talk to you. Please do. Tetanus shot. Big time. Made in Georgia.